Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to use the documentation module in Fem Design software. You will find the documentation module from the right top corner of Fem Design. You can move the documentation simply by clicking at that tab. You can go back to basic Fem Design view by selecting the same button over there. You can use uh, the documentation module in a couple of ways, or you can uh, add stuff to your documentation by in the view by selecting here at view the documentation. And here you will have information that now that we have had been added to your documentation. And now when we go back to documentation, you can see that the view has been added here. You can also make changes that graphical window or the graf graphical window properties in here and you can also change how you want that view to be presented in your documentation like this. I'm just gonna reset my document by clicking here so we can start with the blank page here and now I can see that my documentation is blank so we are gonna start adding section here for the basic or for the first section I have the basic paper size in a portrait and now I'm gonna uh, add another section uh, with a different paper size by selecting here using landscape I'm gonna use the basic width and height here and the basic margins here in here you can also change the printer setups for that section type. I'm gonna press OK. And now you can see that I have added another section in my documentation. We are gonna go back to section one. And now we are gonna add a block to our section. I'm gonna add this block cover page here. And you can see that now the block appears on, uh, on my Fem Design documentation. Of course, you can make the blocks of your own by selecting register here and selecting the parts you want to be in your block. Let's say, for example, I just want this part to be another block. So I'm gonna make name this example. Then I'm gonna select these parts here. And I'm gonna select the base point or the insertion point for my block like this. And now I can see that in the library I will have my example block here and when I go here example or insert and example I can insert my newly created block over here. We can also add table of contents simply by pressing that button over there and for the chapters, we can start adding new chapters like this. I'm just gonna name this training example one. I'm gonna add training example two, like this. And now when I go to contents, I can see that I have my contents here and I have my training examples here like this what we can also do we can add new lines let's say I want to add lines between those training examples I keep on adding lines and I see that uh, that the space between my training example uh, in, uh, increases I can also add page break let's say I want these training examples in a different pages I'm gonna add page break here and now training example two is in a different page over here like this. Now what we can do next is add graphical windows uh, to our documentation. So I'm going to select structure. I'm going to press OK from here. And now I have my structure in a graphical window here. You can also do this to loads finite elements, analysis, and all the design modules. 
What we can also do is we can add list tables to our documentation. For, for this example, I'm going to add structure. Let's say I want to add all my steel materials in this table. I'm going to select list tables. I'm going to close this. And now I can see that all my steel materials are seen in the steel materials table in my documentation. You can also use the draw box here. Now I can see that I have a new drawing box appearing uh, on my documentation. I also have text box. I can name this text box like here, example one, and I can add text to my text box here. So I, I will have now my example text box here, and I can always uh, edit the properties of that text box. We can also add images to our documentation from other source than femdesign from here. And lastly, we have our wizard here. We can use wizard function to uh, add, for example, structure parts uh, according to stories, axes, and here we can select parts from the graphical window, or we can also select tables from those parts of our structure. Let's say we want axis number one, and we have we want to have all the power elements from there, and we are gonna press select and apply. In here we can see that we use the wizard to bring out axis one and bar structures to our documentation. Lastly, we have the basic navigation tools to use in the documentation. We have items we can cut, copy, paste, delete, and properties, for example, for this text box, because it was activated here. And we can use the documentation to print or to save as a Word, uh, Microsoft Word file. For the printing, you can select the page range options. And do you want to use the temporary printer? And here by selecting OK, we will start our printing process. But here was all for this video. I hope you learned something new. I want to thank you for watching and see you in the next one.